Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, and I want to talk about some South Philly slash South Florida slash Kenny Joey Merlino news, uh, some insight into this past year of uh, the podcasting chaos and the alleged shelving um, of Merlino as boss of the Philadelphia Mafia according to Jerry Capace and his gangland news column, as well as according to, we never reported here at OG pod or at gangs report that he was shelved, but we definitely reported that there were serious issues with New York that caused a restructuring of the Philadelphia mafia at the past of the Genovese boss, Barney Benino, the Genovese boss, Barney Belomo and Gambino boss, Lorenzo Menino. Um, and then we're going to segue now into some, I think, lost context. And I want to kind of explain why there was a delayed reaction between when Joey launched the pod in August or early September of 23. And you didn't really hear the blowback start until the beginning of 24. So there was a good four or five months that it looked or appeared that things were copacetic. And I want to explain that. So about a year ago, right now, October of 2023, um, there was a meeting, I'm told, that took place in New York with Joey Merlino, Georgie Borghese, uh, at that point, his acting boss, now according to uh, Capace, the official boss of the uh, Philadelphia Mafia. And they met with Lorenzo Menino, I'm told, and his underboss, Lenny Di Maria. And this was a meeting to discuss what was going on in the pot and for him to touch base with the the bosses in New York and he can sit there and his defenders and propagandists can sit out there and um, say that they don't, you know, Philadelphia doesn't have to do what New York says and Joey can do whatever he wants, which is true. That part's true. Um, but that's not true about the Bruno Scarfo crime family. And, and it's shocking that there are people, I know it's 2024, so you got to put that into the conversation, but, this is kind of like tradition or history. I mean, uh, the Genovese and and particularly the Genovese uh, have had a lot of input, the Gambinos, a lot of input um, to the point where you could almost say they were puppeteering. You know, John Stanfield became boss in Philadelphia, not because the Philly mob wanted him, because the Gambinos put him there. Um, Nikki Scarfo became boss of the... Philadelphia Mafia, not because really that the Philadelphia guys wanted him, it was because the Chin wanted him. Um, and then if you want to tie it into to the Merlino regime, it was a semi-rogue regime until Barney Belomo uh, sanctioned it from behind bars back in the late 90s, early 2000s. So there is uh, a lot of precedent. And the fact is he, Joey, um, in his uh, politicking in the launching and then the immediate aftermath of, of the podcast going live and the skinny brand, which, you know, here at OG pod, we give, we give credit where credit is due. Uh, credit is due, and um, in terms of a, a niche podcast, I think it's it's done really well. And he's created an audience for himself and a platform for himself to do what he feels is the best thing to do. And 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 uh, his kind of bully pulpit and his ability to kind of speak for himself and speak for other people that he feels don't have a voice and little snuff his his sidekick. Uh, is, is pretty, um, he's good on screen. And I know that they both don't like me, but hey, uh, I can, again, I can give credit where credit is due and I think they do a good job. But nonetheless, you know, the ramifications are the ramifications. And there was this meeting that took place last, last October. And at that meeting, 
Joey Merlino assured Lorenzo Menino and Menino was speaking for the bosses in New York that this was this pod was not going to veer into and remember how this pod has evolved. It started as just a sports betting podcast. And that's what he was saying this was going to be. It wasn't going to be a platform to attack the government, attack uh, his, you know, his enemies perceived or real, uh, go after uh, any variety of, of kind of hot button topics that went beyond predicting outcomes and, and betting spreads of, of football and baseball and basketball games. So that's what was said at that meeting. And, and there was a tacit, okay, we'll see how this goes um, from Menino. Um, but by the end of the year, by early January, it, it had taken a, a turn where sports betting was less of a, part of the pod and it was more just a, um, a conduit to express grievance and be mad uh, as well as tell mob war stories. And this didn't sit well. Um, and that's why it took five months for, for there really to be a growing um, opinion sentiment in New York that this had to be stopped. And that's why there was this series of meetings in January and February. Um, and then at some point, <clears throat> someone delivered the news to Merlino that he was uh, being ousted. Um, and there was a meeting. And I think we'll get to that at some point, I know there's other reporters that are working on it, but there was a meeting that took place. Uh, I've heard multiple stories about it. I'm still trying to you know, lock down the details, but uh, I think it happened in um, May-ish. Uh, and you know, people from New York came, people from his own regime came, meaning Joey's own regime, and told him that he, uh, he was officially taken down by New York. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find out more information about that uh, and report it when we do. But uh, there was this meeting in October of 2023 between Merlino and Menino where Merlino promised that he was not going to turn the podcast into a mob spectacle. It was going to just be about who you're betting on for your NFL games and your college football games. And that didn't really stick. And that's why we are here where we are today. Um, and I just wanted to give that insight. Um, please like, subscribe, share the OG pod, um, uncovering the underworld, one city, one region, one story at a time. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG pod, I'm out.